minus XTI O2. So it was leading to second phase formation. The chemistry people know it better. The stoichiometry tells me that it will form secondary phases. But if I do it like this, I will make the solid solution of the material. Solid solution of the material means that you change the type of the cation, but the crystal structure remains the same. The crystal symmetry remains the same. The per lattice parameter can be slightly changed depending on the ionic radii of the substituent and the, what you are the agent from external agent. When I did that, I succeeded in making single phase material. When I did this, I got the material to resonate, but the quality factor was very poor. There are always specific benchmarks for commercialization of material. Commercialization of material, this material required dielectric constant between 40 and 50, for example. The quality factor close to 10,000 gigahertz. Temperature coefficient of resonant frequency plus minus 10, plus minus 10, right? My quality factor was very poor. And I succeeded in making single phase material. Then where should I go? I, should, I go to the other materials. Mm -hmm. You look there. Instead of niobium, it was transient niobium titanate. Then I replaced the A site cation. The, the A site cation strontium partially by calcium. Similarly, the B-side cation by lanthanum. And in this way, I played with tailoring the properties of the material. And I was slowly increasing the material. If you look here, I have gone almost to 9,900. So this is a simple game. You play with them. But when you study the literature, you know about what material does what. And according to that, you mix them together and get them. So, right? So we made about 30 compositions which are commercializable. This means that we may have made up to 900 co compositions and uh, 870 <coughs> will have one kind of a flaw or another kind of a flaw, but I have a faith, a faith that when you work hard, something is revealed upon you. And this is the promise of Allah, that your hard work will never go in vain. Right? So work hard and leave the result to Allah and you will find things. If you oh, you can find him on the internet, it was Rechmai who in 1939 proposed that if we can replace the vacuum KVT resonator in our telecommunication devices, for example, wireless television and all these things, we will be able to de decrease the size of the circuit. Wireless people are Right? So, it was Richmond in 1939 who said, that if you replace the vacuum KVT resonator and telecommunication devices, you can substantially improve its performance and substantially decrease the size of the circuit. If you go and wake up Rich Meyer today, he will not be able how to use this cell phone. What does this mean? This means that the people who work hard Something is revealed upon them. 
And this is the promise of Allah. And I am asking you one thing. Keeping in view the greed of man and woman as well, right? Would the 20th century man left a piece of bread from the 20, for the 21st century people? No, right? The insan heres do murade, she the shilemi sade insan ma, the yevishtemi sade insan tayawa no rem no operate. But what Allah does, I am telling you that. Look at this old man carbon. 25,000 years ago, people knew carbon in the form of coal, in the form of burnt wood, because of thunderstorm or different things. It softness, a soft softness <coughs> made it graphite pencil. Right? It was soft, so people used it for writing. When men learned writing, they used carbon graphite pencil. When the men learned making steel, diamond saw is 100% carbon. It came to help there. This old carbon. But the 2010 Nobel Prize was given on graphene. What does this mean? I will show you that graphene, it is changing, it is the world changer. Why? European Union awarded the Finnish company Nokia 1.3 billion to commercialize graphene. Graphene refills water when mixed with polymer works as a rust proof coating. Graphene transmits heat energy from electrical current to make sound. People use burn to burn carbon, but now it is one of the most intelligent material on earth. Right? What is smartness? What is smart material? I look into the sun. My eye feel something. My eye feels inconvenient and it closes. This feeling is not smart, but when two actions are together, to feel and then to act accordingly is smartness. So your eye is a smart material. Combine two properties into one material and you will get that smartness. So the nature here is very excellent example. And Allah is telling us again and again that learn from your environment, learn from your nature, and do it accordingly. Compactness, when the cell phone came, people thought that we have reached the peaks of technology. Because this mobile phone carries the television, carries the video, carries the sound system, carries the dictionaries, Carrying the software needed, everything like that. But the very small, small ant on the earth, which is not visible to the naked eye sometimes, and that small body, he has survived billions of years. He has saved himself from billions of human and animal feet and cars, tires. When I need flour, I have made a big flour grinding machine for it. But in that small body, he has got that machine to grind that wheat. Is that compactness or of your cell phones? So the example of compactness are also there. And we don't know what the tomorrow world will look like. It is upon you how you like it and do it. Otherwise, other will, people will do it and you will follow it. Right? So if you want you to be your masters, the, life, the masters of your life, then you will have to lead. 
computer chips with graphene supercapacitors could make batteries obsolete. A new technology dictated by the old man carbon. Right? What is this? Microscopic beds of graphene oxide bind to radioactive contaminants and could make cleaning up nuclear waste safe and cheap. The market not far away. Silicon semiconductor chips will be replaced by graphene and they will become 50 times faster. 50 times faster. 1,000 will change into 50,000. One lake will change into 50 lakes. Right? IBM developed graphene-based processor for wireless devices. Digital core design of Poland built a processor for a tablet. This market, I had written down five years away. But it is now not five years away, it is very close. The nanomaterials is doing marvelous job. And maybe the tomorrow building wall will be electrocaloric. When sun falls upon it, a temperature will decrease. 